Um, great. So I'm first, which means you'll all be drunk by the end and hopefully forget this. Um, so I'm about to tell you a little story with an element of mystery. Um, the story takes place in a, a town called Izmir in Turkey. Izmir is known for being a liberal bastion, a beautiful seaside town with the most controversial thing ever there happening, the uh, rise in price of pistachios. Uh, the story takes place on November the 10th, 2015, and it starts with me being woken up by the loudest siren I have ever heard in my entire life. And I've been in Israel for missile sirens, and trust me, this was louder. So I woke up, I jump out of bed. Why is there a siren? There shouldn't be a siren. I'm in my own house, I live here on my own. It must be the fire alarm. I've never heard the fire alarm. So I go over to the window, but the siren's coming from outside. It's coming from everywhere. It's literally all around me. So it's not a fire, because you can't set fire to everything. <laughs> so then I'm looking around, what's going on? Visualize this, a siren screaming everywhere. So I jump around the room and I go and put on my shorts. Don't visualize that part. I can see some of you, okay? I've got my shorts on, I'm thinking, what is this? I know, it's gonna be an earthquake. There was a minor one here a few weeks ago, but I'm thinking nothing's shaking except my hand at the moment. If it's not an earthquake, then what? I put on my hoodie, I'm ready. Maybe, maybe it's missiles, but who would throw missiles at Izmir? There's nothing in Izmir, there's, there's palm trees, who would? want to blow up palm trees. Everyone loves palm trees. They're like the kittens of the tree world. <laughs> so I'm thinking it can't be missiles. So I pull on my hoodie, like I said, and I'm ready to go. I get, my, I get my wallet. Clever. Because if I need to get to a bomb shelter, I might need to pay for a place. That's how it works, isn't it? So I've got my wallet. I'm ready to roll. Get to the door. Wait a second. Passport. I'm going to need my passport, because if ISIS had built an underground tunnel through the water, under the sea, and into Izmir, then I'm going to need to get to the closest airport and get out of here pretty quickly. I'm very, very clever. Could be zombies. That's weird. I didn't know they had zombies in Turkey. Anyhow, I've got my passport, I've got my wallet, I've got my phone, it's time to get out of here. The siren is still screaming everywhere. I'm out of the door. I'm on the second floor, there's no one around. Where is everyone? Maybe it's an earthquake and they're all in their apartments hiding under their tables. Is that what I'm meant to do during an earthquake? My table's from Ikea. Is that even going to keep me safe? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to head downstairs, go to the elevator. Lift, elevator. In my head at the time, probably lift. And I'm thinking, wait a second. No one takes a lift in case of fire. I've seen that notice. And so I'm not going to take the lift. Clever again. So, I run to the stairs. I'm going down the stairs. One flight, second flight, expecting to see a whole host of confused old Turkish ladies who live in my apartment at the bottom, wondering what's going on. I get to the bottom. Siren still screaming everywhere. I'm on my own. There's no one in the lobby at all. Where is everyone? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Are they, are they outside already? <laughs> Do I go outside? Do I stay inside? If, if I go outside, what if I get hit by a missile? What if one of the missiles mistakes me for a palm tree? Why the fuck does my hair look like a palm tree? <laughs> I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna go for it. The siren's still screaming. I've gotta get out of here. And out I go. Outside. Outside. The sun's out. Palm trees are intact. There's no missiles. There's no zombies. <laughs> There's no ISIS soldiers coming out of the sea. And then I look around in bewilderment and confusion because what I do see, somehow, are people everywhere, motionless. Cars strewn on the street, motionless. And me, looking around bewildered, not knowing what's going on. And then I realize, maybe I'm already dead. <laughs> maybe I'm doomed to live in this limbo of motionless people and perfectly intact palm trees for the, for the rest of time. I'm confused. I look around wildly. The siren's still screaming. It's screaming. It stops. The siren stops. The unpause button is pressed. 
and everyone just starts moving again. The cars start going, the bus doors close, and off they go. And I'm standing there being, what the fuck just happened? So I'm really confused. And I'm looking around, standing there in my shorts and my hoodie and, and fear and confusion. That's all I'm wearing. And as I'm standing there, a guy just like walks past completely nonchalantly and I'm grabbing him by the shoulder. And in my very, very poor Turkish that at this point I'd learned, I said to him, Abi, netol do, which means, mate, what happened? And he just walking on, just throws over his shoulder, Ataturk, keeps going. Ataturk, 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 Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the founder of the Turkish Republic. And it's the, the 10th of November. I remember learning this when I first got to Turkey. This is the day that Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the founder of the Turkish Republic, an unparalleled national hero, died. And what was that siren? It was a mark of respect. It was just a minute of silence. Ah, oh, a minute of silence. A minute of silence. A minute of silence. A minute of fucking silence. It wasn't silent. I thought there were zombies. <laughs> I get it, and I think it's a beautiful gesture that, much like in Israel and in other countries around the world, you want to mark the respect of people um, great to your country who have passed. However, I just wish that somebody, someone, had wished, had tried to inform the foreigner who had just arrived in Turkey that in that country they observe their minutes of silence in anything but. Oh, and <laughs> let's be honest. I'm sure you and I are still kind of disappointed that it uh, wasn't zombies. <laughs> Thank you.